Alrighty, so now we're doing uh, part number two. We got into this uh, voodoo looking, weirdly looking room. I'll well, just find some. Uh, I was looking at the table and I, I thought uh, ingredients, but nope. Clues. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Ooh. An old house might shape over centuries. Uh, the engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black bar sunstone in the middle is a fine finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. All right. I think I came from over there. No. Ah. Oh, the talisman. I think it's meant for the talisman. Oh. Shall we match the numbers? Switch this grow. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Circles. No idea. He said notes. I'll check the notes. Okay, now let's get bullets. Uh, lost and dead telegram.
Okay, where are the notes? Come on, man. Finally. There's no schematics. Okay. Dallas men with black sunstone. An ancient navigational tool found inside a chenier along the Bayou Tonk. The old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said to have unleashed a vagabond devil that massacred its finders. Three numbers are needed to span a bridge between the scapes of dream and memory, according to Stein. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. Three, five, eight. Three, five, eight. To span a bridge between the scale streams and memory. Three five eight. Okay, the three is three is on the bottom. Three. Three five eight three. There's no five either. The only five is here.
properly on there. Come on. No. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? Was there like a diorama? Huh. Oh, something open. I'm scared to look. That opened. Okay. I need to find more bullets. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean. You're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, it's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. In a martini Ooh, glass. Good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a side. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. 
Uh, chapter 2. Well, that was fast. Well, I already know this. Uh, I had a look. And... It is possible to finish the game uh, under three hours. So, because there Detective is a trophy Carney. for it. How did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Teroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective, are you going to be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Okay. This talisman oh, brought me back mentioned. from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Teroea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Okay, I don't have the key, do I? Oh, but this key is okay. I gotta try, because, you know, you play one day, then you don't play two days, and you forget. Okay, broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Kitchen garden. Okay, investigate the well. The, oh yeah, we saw there was something. So creepy. I thought behind the door would be something. <laughs> there was something on the other side. Okay, more more clues. Repairing the boiler, yeah, that's the boiler. Saw so you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. All right, so wine cellar. Wine cellar. Wait a minute. We need the key. Because the wine cellar was locked. Room key. Which room? Room key six. Okay. Staff and patient directory. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and, of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Okay, we got a key for six, so that's Perosi. Uh, what else did I want to try? Alright, come here. <gasps> Pulp. Try. Okay, that's collectible. Patient 
files flew. Cassandra, Mirage, put this away, okay. We got files. We can read this later on. And okay, I'm going to browse it to this woman's age, the three, maybe. Looks like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Okay. So later. Can I see it on the map? Yep. Clerk's office, and there is a puzzle. Cool. So kitchen uh, well blah blah oh wait a minute do i have a key i need the key which one room six but it's not enough no i don't have a key so now let's go to room six okay uh, should i go this way Okay, uh, library. The map is updated with the information about, okay. Hey, bear. Let's have a look at the room six. Oh. Whoa. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Huh. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing some pieces. Cool, we gotta find more stuff. Hmm, I need the key. Now this one. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know. I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. Weirdo. McCarthy reminded Detective Conby of an old barfly he used to know. He detested him. There was no getting around it. McCarthy was going to have a hard time getting on his good side. Oh man, we've got a lot of things to do. Wait a minute, show me the map. Uh, where am I? Dr. Chris' apartment. Looks like everything's back to normal here. Ooh. Hello. Emily's here. Emily's here. That's it. What? Oh, yeah.
fountain fountain pen. Gloves of Rocky Marciano. <laughs> okay, uh, where is... That's her room. Hello. Huh. How eccentric. I must return. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Oh, what, do you what are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. Well, we have no clue right now, do we? Okay, what does it say on the map? Uh, okay, it's just a puzzle. Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly no Astarte. Those good pirates of Poncha Train. May you still sail the lake. Until you find the shores of Hali. Okay, is there like a clue for... Uh-huh. So this is number 1, 11 and 10. So shall I go how the numbers follow consecutively? 1, 10 and 11. Aquarius, Scorpion, Sagittarius. That's me, Sagittarius. Aquarius, Scorpion, Sagittarius. Aquarius, they were. What was it? No! Well, there are only a few symbols there. Come on. Percy Journal. Yeah, there's the, the only there is Taurus. We don't have uh, Aquarius Scorpion. There's only Leo. Leo is there, Taurus is there, Gemini. So what now? Hmm. Op maybe opposite? Uh, you know, like the opposite on the picture, that would that work? Opposite Aquarius is Leo. Leo is there. Opposite Scorpion is Taurus. And opposite Sagittarius is Gemini. Leo, Taurus. Okay, Leo, Taurus, Gemini. 
Leo Taurus. Let's try that. Leo Taurus, Gemini. Leo Taurus, Gemini. No. Gemini, Taurus, Leo, maybe? No. I don't understand them. The Leo, Taurus, Gemini. Come back here later. Wait a minute. Why are you rushing? Look, what the hell is this? What the? These paintings got some grim looking rot on them. Complete the shape with the route on the paintings. Oh, can I move it? disappearance must have been 15 years or more now Perros is there doesn't make any sense I looked it up as we completed these pictures their names William Franklin and Nora look at here William Franklin and Nora these three nine four two Still don't get it what it means. We have numbers. Then when I come here. This is a, a zodiac sign. So is it supposed to be like a chronological order of zodiac signs? That's the allocated number maybe I mean that can be an option and this one is supposed to be here and and it worked and I don't know why why Got these it. symbols broken plate is that for the for the tower clock tower what is a piece of larger plate it's a dark and burn quality I don't know. I don't know what it was. <laughs> what the hell?
ground floor. Nope. I'm scared. This is some silent hill bullshit. Huh? Go! <gasps> Very trippy. Very trippy. Detective Combi had a hard time understanding what had happened. It did feel similar to when he was pulled into the French Quarter, but with less power and purpose. Did he cause this, or was it something else? Oh, what happened? Everything's normal again? Right. Okay. We need one more. One more. Uh, the, 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 where was the garden? Uh huh. There you are. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Briglow, 1917. Why can what? Do I have it? Wait a minute. Okay, I see I got it, but how how can I use it? Went shut. Not this time.
know where was it. Oh, yeah, it was here. Garden hose, we all fill it up with water, eh? Huh. The garden hose wasn't here before. Either was this. The fuck, mom, if I give seriously? This can't be real. the water aha r1 r1 and i forgot How to use the flashlight? Uh huh. Okay, I need another key. Ah, that's the final piece. special to open it oh can't wait to get my dirty hands on it I think I've seen this somewhere. Yeah, we we'll finish the video here and start the next one right from this moment. We'll see you later, guys. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.